And the last trig that the trig um, ratio that we're going to look at is tan. So when Greeks were talking about tan, what they meant by that was the opposite side of the angle divided by the adjacent. So in summary, we've looked at sin, which we said is the opposite over the hypotenuse. We've looked at cos, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then we've looked at, now we're looking at tan, which is the opposite over the adjacent. So the tan of B, well, that's going to be the opposite. So tan of B is going to be the opposite, which is EG over the adjacent, which is EF. The tan of, let's do this triangle, the tan of A, well, that's going to be the opposite, which is 4, over the adjacent, which is 3. And then the tan of B in this green triangle would be 12, because that's the opposite, over the adjacent, which is 5. And if you wanted the tan of A, well, that would be the opposite of that angle, which is now 5, and the adjacent is 12. And so in summary, sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse, cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tan is the opposite over the adjacent. You're going to have to remember these. Now, in my time of tutoring, I've heard of many different ways that people remember this. My favorite is Sokotoa. What that means is that sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and then cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and then tan is the opposite over the adjacent. So if you can just remember Sokotoa, then when you're in a test, you'll remember the different ratios. Another one I've heard is people say, oh, hell, another hour of algebra. So there's the opposite over the hypotenuse for sin. There's the adjacent and the hypotenuse for cos. And then the O and the A is going to be the opposite and the adjacent for tan. So you choose. Maybe your teacher has another cool one that you prefer. It's up to you as long as you remember it for when you are in the test.